CBS The Bold and Beautiful Sports revealed that Taylor will find a way for her son to help Thomas get custody of Douglas from Hope. Of course, Hope will not let that happen easily. For her, Douglas Aldo, not her own son. But after years of caring, he soon became one for family. Hope thinks that Taylor is too free, so she worries about money and fights with others. And she definitely won't let Taylor alone if she dares to touch Douglas. In fact, Taylor could not deny Hope was also legally recognized as the guardian of Douglas. So she found it quite difficult to find an excuse to bring Douglas back, but that does not mean that Hope has the right to keep the boy for herself. Because it's clear that Douglas also needs to be closer to his biological father, Thomas. Meanwhile, Thomas is feeling really stupid because in the past, he used Douglas as bait to win Hope's heart. Thomas knew that Hope was very pleased with his young son, so he accepted and shared custody with Hope, and she would be moved by that action and agree to love him. But in the end, Hope still did not choose Thomas. Only now did he realize that he was wrong to do such a useless thing. However, besides the thought of wanting to take Douglas back from Hope, Thomas expressed concern that this would upset his son's life, as well as psychological effects. Thomas understood that Hope treated Douglas very well, and the boy seems to know, so he also considers Hope like his own mother. After all, Thomas deeply regrets that he did not pay more attention to Douglas before, while the boy at the same time was merely a child, but he considered his son as a chess piece to use in his plan, a plan to seduce Hope. Fortunately, Thomas soon realized his mistake, and he told himself that although Douglas is living with Hope and Liam now, he will try to arrange free time so that he can visit Douglas more and make up for it, and make up for the shortcomings of the past for the boy. But for Taylor, it was clear that Douglas was her grandson, and also Thomas's biological son. There was no reason for Douglas to be at the house. Before, it was just Thomas who had to fight alone. But now Taylor's return, and she will definitely find a way to get her grandson back. Besides, Thomas is getting better, and he's also in the process of moving after finding a suitable house. And this will make it easier for Taylor to agree on a change in custody of Thomas's children. Taylor finds that Thomas has become a man, and it's time for him to take responsibility for his past actions. First, fulfill your fatherly duty to Douglas. However, on Hope's side, it seems that she rather underestimated Taylor's level. As for Hope, she's especially annoyed when someone wants to interfere with her already stable life. Hope believes that she is also a legal guardian of Douglas, so Taylor has no right to sue her. It was clear that Douglas had lived in Hope's house for many years now, and she loved him very much and treated Douglas like her own child. So Hope was angry with Taylor when she saw what she had so much free time to worry about money and inject such stupid thoughts into Thomas' head. Of course, Steffi's sister couldn't accept that her younger brother suffered such a disadvantage. Steffi agrees with her mother and encourages Thomas to stand up for custody, and it seems that B&B is intending to talk more about family love in the near future. The Douglas rivalry between the two families is increasingly difficult to resolve, and the Forrester family's hostile relationship with the Logan family is likely to become more strained. While mother and daughter Brooke Hope are fighting with the other mother and daughter Taylor Steffi, Steffi Thomas is quite struggling when he can only stand in the middle of two sides, because no one but him could understand Douglas's feelings. And he also wanted to close, to be close to his son, but at the same time did not want Douglas to be peaceful, life to be affected by these things. Hope will definitely confront Taylor officially if she continues to incite Thomas to do crazy things that destroy her good life. Of course, Taylor's also not the average. She also declares that she will never give up on Hope because there's nothing wrong with what she's doing now to bring Douglas back to his biological father.